I have a Visual Basic document here that has two text fields. One is named TXT Dividend. The other one is named TXT Divisor. And then I have a button called BTN Calculate. So what the button will do is take the dividend, divide it by the divisor, and show the result in the message box. So here's the code. In my event procedure, I have three variables that I've declared as X, Y, and Z. They're all of a data type of single. And then I'm taking the text from TXT Dividend and putting it into the variable X. Taking the text from TXT Divisor text box, putting it into Y. And the value of Z is X divided by Y. Then in a the message box, I show the value of Z. Well, let's run this, and you'll see that this works. So I'm dividing 12 by 5, and it tells me the quotient is 2.4. Now, if we look at these equation statements, X is a single data type, but the text property of a text box is a string data type. And traditionally in, pr in programming, the data type on one side of the equation needs to be the same as the data type on another side of the equation. And this particular example that I'm using here, in other languages such as C-sharp or Java, we would get errors because we can't take a string and put it into a single uh, variable. VB is very forgiving in that it does implicit data conversions. So it's implicitly saying, okay, I'm going to take this string and internally I'm going to convert it to a single before I put it into the value of x. Like I said, in most languages we can't get away with that. It's one of the reasons that, that some programmers don't like Visual Basic because this implicit data conversion can result in lost data or errors and by many it's considered sloppy programming. There is a way in Visual Basic to not allow this implicit data conversion. And in front of our public class form, we can add a statement that says option strict on. And when I do that, notice that I get some blue squigglies underneath some of my code showing that there are errors. And that's because it will not allow me to do that implicit data conversion. If we look at the errors, the first one here, which is in line 6, that's my x equals txt dividend.txt, says you can't convert from a string to a single. Same thing on the next line. And then on the last line here, with our message box, we've got a string, I'm sorry, we've got a numeric value, a single value, that we're trying to convert to a string, because this is the prompt. It's expecting a string data type for the prompt. So I've got three areas where that implicit data conversion is no longer allowed. So how do we fix that? There's a method called val in which we can take a string and convert it to a numeric value. This actually is not a Visual Basic method. It's actually a .NET framework method. But one nice thing about the val method is if, this were, if the text were something other than a number, this would evaluate to zero. But I still have a problem here in that now, rather than going from a string to a single, val produces a double value, a double data type. And I can't convert a double data type to a single because you remember, doubles are much larger in size. There are eight bytes to store, and a single takes four bytes to store. So it's sort of like I'm trying to cram 10 pounds of potatoes into a five pound sack. Well, we have another function then in Visual Basic that will let us convert to a single value. And so I'm going to put that whole expression into a set of parentheses for the method of CSNG. And CSNG stands for convert to single. This is an explicit data type conversion method. And now that blue squiggly went away. So what I'm doing is I'm converting txt dividend.txt into a numeric value and then converting that into a single value because the first one's double we convert it to a single and we're applying it to a single data data type now in reality I can take this val out and it's still going to work because csng will work on a text string and convert that text string 
to a single. I like to use the vowel for the simple reason that if that text is something other than numeric, it will equate to zero. If I have the word hello into in the text box, x will be zero. If I take the vowel out, it's going to give me an error. It doesn't know how to convert hello into a single value. We're going to do the same thing here on the y. I'm going to convert that into a numeric value and then convert it into a single value. And then on the message box, we've got a single value we're trying to convert into a string. There's two ways we could do that. We could say CSTR Z, which stands for convert to string. That takes the blue squiggly away. But every data type has a dot to string method. And so I can also say Z dot to string and that will convert it to a string. And that probably really is the preferred way of doing it because we can do that with anything. Either way, however, will work. Those blue squigglies now went away. And if I run my application, we see the program functions. If I hadn't done that, let me go back and just get rid of this. It's where I now have an error. If I now try to run my application, I get the message box that there were build errors. And I need to go back and fix my code. And I'll do that by adding two strings. ToString is a method, so it needs to have the parentheses after it. So we have these, these commands or these methods for converting values. Let's suppose that the variables are double values rather than single. Now if I change that to a double, I don't get an error even though I'm converting this to a single first. And that's because a single is smaller than a double. This is called a widening conversion in that I can put 5 pounds of potatoes in a 10 pound sack. That's okay, as long as these are both numeric. And so the option strict on allows that type of implicit conversion. But in reality, if I'm converting this to double, I probably want to use the cdbl command. And that will convert this to a double before it puts it into a double variable. So we have csng for converting a value to a single data type. We have cdbl for converting a value to a double data type. We have CSTR for converting a value to a string data type, although the preferred method is to use the dot to string method.